the same. The warrior. He's got a mask. Me too. Cut out of paper. And I'm gonna use my new latex. Yeah! So today I'm gonna be a warrior. And to use my latex, I take a lid from bo from a bottle, pour it in, and apply with these little sticks or with a cotton bud. So if you see, latex turns yellowish once it dries and it's almost see-through once it's completely dry. So I got me a roll of toilet paper, which is perfect because you can take some pieces of it and normally they're double, triple, quadruple, mostly it's two to three layers so you can take that apart so normally I would recommend if you've got it use a rubber brush or a brush that you are gonna throw away anyway but what I'm gonna do now is stick on some of this paper on the latex that I already applied but okay I'm gonna rub in the toilet paper underneath and on top with latex so that you get a different texture and with this just drawn and cut out piece of paper I can form that shield or mask which seems to be coming out of his scalp now if you have a spot like this where it doesn't stick on to, take a scissor and make a couple incisions so that you can let it overlap. And if you use latex then you will be able to squish it onto it. And it will hold. Guarantee it will hold. So this way, and don't put it in your eyes, be very careful around the eyes. Keep pressing it down until your latex sticks. Take your blow dryer. You can let it dry by itself too, but that takes a very long time. And I am going to add an extra coat on the toilet paper so that it is more really completely latex and it looks as if the armor, the thing on his head comes from his head. Once it's painted it's gonna be totally different. That part stays loose but this piece on the cheek has to be tight like there to here. So this part And I hold my eye closed to not have the odor that comes from the latex to not get it in my eye. There, I think that will be enough to keep it strong and firm. So the makeup itself is not that special. You can use foundation, but I would like to use a cream paint, which is this. Now with a brush, and I'm going to start making flaky, like dirty, 
not a nice tan and that always works better with your finger so just smear out here and there some of that brown green paint look on the latex it gives a nice color so now I'm putting it wildly on the paper That flaky stuff has worked. Just gonna add a little more in there and on there and around there and you know there. Also the face is gonna be... I live in the woods, you know. I'm not clean. This warrior has got a lot of drawings on his face. I'm gonna use an angled <coughs> brow brush and I'm gonna use a dark or a reddish brown color to outline what I have to draw or color in and I know that here I'm gonna have some kind of a belt that has a half moon shape that forms like a letter E. This also has an extra edge. And the rest you can draw on whatever you like. I hope I was filming until here, otherwise I will have a lot of explaining to do. I'm gonna make the lines that I see on the image of that warrior that I have here and I'm going to make that a bit like it looks on his face. Don't make it completely black, because I am not a um, skull or a ghost or anything. I just make my eye sockets very deep.
Now, this part is almost completely ready. There are a few lines that are gonna be more white, so I will make them already. That's gonna be the belt, which I will be drawing with a smaller brush. I am gonna start with a very dark brown, even to black. I'm gonna use black. Black always looks better in pictures and stuff like that. So I was forming the shapes here that I was gonna use anyway. And this is a very simple and easy look. Normally everybody should be able to do something like this. You just stick on a piece of paper. You don't even have to do that. You can just draw on random stuff like this belt. Some kind of a buckle. A sign in the middle. And you've got your result. And here I am going to have something like a buckle and that line runs through and it's got two straps that are holding it, which actually was this so that brown line shouldn't have to be there but no problem I can work that off in a tip this way and it's something else you can always use your imagination and change everything the way you want to have it now here are gonna be like stitches On this cheek, he's got some kind of a sign that starts with a tip. Has a tip toward the, the nose, downwards. And I'll color it in while I'm at it. And the last videos, I have been very, very precise, very specifically making all my looks very detailed, very, very fine worked off. And this is just smacking the paint on and doing wild stuff, sticking a piece of paper to my face. This is totally different because I don't want to do the same every single day. And I want to make things like this, which are wild and connected to nature or if it's realistic or not, I don't care. It's just something completely different that will give you the opportunity to let your imagination take completely over and do whatever you want. I'm following a reference picture. You don't have to do that. I'm totally making something different too, but just to have some ideas for signs and signals, I use this. 
So it's got that and another one that's longer, thinner. Here he's got a lot of stuff going on. I'm just going to make some random lines that I already did with brown. Now, I think I have enough lines, so now I'm gonna shade an extra color or so, but I think shading might be the best or easiest. So I'm taking more of that brown paint that I used from the start to dab and bring in and on and around the spots where I haven't colored in. So, not beautifully painting, I'm just filling all the rest by tabbing. I'm gonna clean this brush a little bit and now I'm gonna take a dark brown. First of all I'm gonna draw with that fine brush and the black paint what is gonna be in his neck. And it's very wildly, so the opening is not one nice piece. The end of these stitches are a little bit like a C curve. And that is filled in actually with white eyeshadow or, or you can just use an eyeliner pencil, a bit of white eyeshadow, a 
Okay, I'm gonna do some shading and highlighting here too. So you don't have to be too perfect, as I said before. Just with my finger I am highlighting with that white eyeshadow. Taking a different brush because I don't like that one. Oh, much better, much better. Multos, multos, placios, buenos, whatever. Else. Now this character at the same time has got uh, some cartoonish characteristics but it's also rough and from nature-like places. So now I am taking the dark brown that I took before As you see, I'm not completely coloring it, I'm just making some lines with it, a bit matching with my top thing that I often wear for huntsmen or for things like that. So once that is done, I'm gonna do my arms and then I will be ready already. This is so simple and so fun to do. I hope you will recreate some of these and show me pics. Show me pictures. I love pictures. The face is now done. I want to have my arms matching my face and I have got skin color. I don't know if you can see. I've got some kind of a skin color tube of paint and I've got a brown tube of paint. So what I want to try to do is take a bit in my hands and wildly rub over my arms, let it dry, and then go over with the second color. So I don't know if this is gonna work. It's a first try. Bear with me. I'm gonna put you a bit further away so you can see my arms. Okay? So I hope you can now see how I am going to do this. And I'm putting my mirror a little bit further away. And like I normally do, I throw down and away everything. So, I will start with the skin tone. Is it open? Yes. 
I put some in this hand and then I will try with bits and pieces to wildly and specifically on my tattoo to wildly rub that onto my skin not completely just flakes spots dots I don't care if I touch my blouse because this is water activated paint so it's already dry on my hands so I will just shower that all off I just am not gonna do my hands completely because I have to handle my camera to take pictures blob <laughs> there I go again I always blob with everything I'm very curious what this is gonna do does it work in any type of way an effect of being a filthy bushman <laughs> a warrior and this hand is okay to be dirty especially my beautiful white nails and I'm doing the wrong hand okay I'll clean it off in a moment no I'm stupid I know how stupid that was but is this okay or do I need some more? I think I'll need a little bit more. Taking it in the wrong hand again. <laughs> so stupid. I am so clumsy. I'm such a klutz. Um, even going down the ah, armpit and here I don't have to look like a tree or bark or anything I just gotta be filthy and dirty and uh, okay let's see this side filthy enough or not it'll have to be okay now this hand I'll make it filthy and once it's dry I'll just make sure that this hand is clean to use my phone I'll just keep my hands on the inside clean I'll do this and that and you know you know that kind of stuff. I even need my thumbprint to get into my phone, so <laughs> I will have to be careful. Look at me, I'm a monkey! Or something like a monkey. Oh, it even gives a good effect if you just randomly and wildly go over with your makeup wipe. I think I'm ready. My belt and X, which happens to be a real one, but I always use it when I'm a huntsman or anything. And an old purse that's real leather will have to give this leather band. And around my neck, I'm just taking an elastic band, which you don't have to, but I just thought it might look nice with this. Don't ask me why, I just had it laying around and I thought it might match this look. might be better on that side like so
Hello there. I am a warrior. I come from the forest to defend my village people. I'm very strong, very muscled, and I will fight till the end. Whoever comes to take our land. And if you want to see how I got here without a horse or not even on a deer, just keep on watching and you will see who is the real me. Fuck that hurt. <laughs> that filming that way Whew. I this very strong and I am this very strong very strong warrior wants to thank you for watching this tutorial with me and if you are not subscribed to my channel yet please do so leave some nice comments down below give me some thumbs up and for me there's as always one thing left to say and that is my love for makeup is spread all over to you and I really hope to see you again soon in one of my coming videos so subscribe like and ring the notification bell and I will be back soon with another Halloween video. <laughs>